The Radboud University Medical Center is located on a fast campus on the border of Nijmegen, the oldest city of the Netherlands going back to the period of the Roman Empire. The Department of Psychiatry is a modern psychiatric academic center. The department has a 30-bed inpatient unit, a large outpatient department and a very busy liaison consultation service. All in all, we see and treat about 3,000 patients on an annual basis. The Department of Psychiatry has four important tasks which we have to combine, bring together and harmonize. First, clinical innovation, two, scientific research, three, educational excellence and four, leadership. Regarding clinical excellence, we of course try to improve, to develop, to innovate and to find new treatments for difficult to treat mental disorders. We here have specialized on two topics, which are the neurodevelopmental disorders, including autism spectrum disorders and ADHD. Our second focus is a group of comorbid stress-related disorders, mood disorders related to addiction disorders and to a set of somatic illnesses. Psychiatric disorders are special in that the mechanisms underlying them are still largely unknown. There are no biological tests to confirm the diagnosis of a clinical psychiatric disease. This is why basic research of psychiatric disorders is so important. My group here at the Radboud University Medical Center and the Donders Institute for Brain Cognition and Behavior studies the genetic aspects of psychiatric disorders and the brain traits that underlie them. This type of trait and disorder are highly heritable, but also highly genetically complex. And this makes that you need very large sample sizes to do this type of research. So we do this type of research in collaboration with international colleagues. I also collaborate with bioinformaticians, which help me to build networks out of the genes involved in a psychiatric disorder, and in that way to identify new leads for the development of treatment. Interdisciplinary research is highly essential to understand the mechanisms underlying psychiatric disorders from gene to cell to brain. The Radboud University Medical Center and the Donners Institute offer an excellent environment for this type of research. Psychiatry is the last clinical field where all diagnoses are based on symptoms only. In recent years, we have made a leap forward by analyzing brain system levels, emergent properties of interacting brain regions underlying the symptoms in psychiatry. The Donners Institute for Brain Cognition and Behavior is a large cross-campus interfaculty entity who does at the Radboud UMC research from computational neuroscience over molecular work to behavioral neuroscience, enabling us to understand the system level in terms of cognitive neuroimaging and clinical work. And our aim is to integrate all these levels. More than 500 scientists are working at the Dundas Institute in a very collaborative way. We integrate in all our efforts research from different levels, molecular with system level, computational with behavioral research, so really enabling a cross-disciplinary research that will bring us further in understanding our mind and understanding symptoms in psychiatric diseases. The Donners Institute makes a great effort in training the next generation of neuroscientists, including uh, medical students, so that they have a deep understanding of the current knowledge in neuroscience. For me, as a medical doctor and a PhD student, the Donners Institute is of utmost importance to guide me to become a clinical scientist. What the Donners provide me with is with supervision of world-renowned scientists who guide me throughout the whole empirical cycle. What psychiatry needs are psychiatrists who are broadly educated in the field of psychiatry, but also have their own specialization subjects. In the Radboud University Medical Center, there's lots of opportunity to specialize yourself. The specialization program for psychiatry here at Radboud University Medical Center involves an intensive practical training and covers also all theoretical aspects of biological psychiatry, social psychiatry and psychotherapy. 
Supervision for us here at the Department of Psychiatry is extremely important. We make sure that our residents do not only receive a daily supervision, but also have additional coaches that supervise them in terms of professional development. We are all doing it in teamwork. I see the patients together with my residents to get the best in both, the trainer and the trainee. The last few weeks I visited on an almost daily basis the intensive care unit together with my supervisor to treat a young woman with NMDA receptor encephalitis, a very severe infliction for which you need profound knowledge of neurology, of psychiatry, of internal medicine and of psychopharmacology to give a state-of-the-art treatment. And uh, that is what we are there for as a psychiatry department in the academic hospital. We maintain a continuous teaching atmosphere here at our department. How do we do this? Well, we train our supervisors to teach the assistants and we train our assistants to teach students. This is how it runs and it runs perfectly. To be a successful department, I think you should create an innovative, creative and ambitious atmosphere. An atmosphere and an environment where people like to study, where people like to discover, where people have new initiatives. If we are able to create such an environment, I think then we can really have a significant impact on healthcare and so on the health of the population in the Netherlands.